Forest Dunes is just an incredible place. It's just a golf course I'll never get sick of playing. It's always perfect. Highly manicured. Fast greens, lush green grass. Beautiful conditions. It's a very different golf course. Much more what we're used to, what we play up here in the Northeast. A really interesting contrast. The loop is more of a Heathland style. It will not play the same. The ground does not play the same. The turf conditions are different. It's like you're playing in two different continents. Our parking lot is the Atlantic Ocean because all you need to do is, is cross that parking lot and you're in another different world. Two distinct nines. Tree line, fairways, typical northern Michigan golf. Yeah, the forest versus the dunes. When you make the turn and get to the back is when it starts to open up. Rugged native wasteland areas, a lot of sand dune. I was far more used to a course like the dunes course. And I had a better day. Trent was huge, man. Trent just stepped up. He had it going, man. He just, his vibe was good. My handicap is what it is, but then there are times when I play really well and it just almost becomes unfair. You fucking flushed that. Good shot. Yeah, so we're staying at Lou's house. A beautiful, beautiful house with a million rooms, fits all of us and, and more. The only problem was that the lights and all of the electricity in my room did not work after the first night because Frankie Borelli decided to take a bath. I think I, I, think I blew a fuse in the house. I know you did. Yeah? I know you did. We're gonna have to fix that when we get back. I walked into my room and there was this massive, massive bathtub in the room. I was like, why not, man? I haven't taken a bath since I was like three years old. I had to. I was staring at it this morning. I'm like, I'm just going to have a nice morning. I'm going to put those jets on. And like, I'm sitting there. It was, I was rolling. I like these jets hitting my pathetic body. Something about it made me feel good. And all of a sudden, it was like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, my bathroom light doesn't work Once anymore. the bubbles and everything went away, it got real awkward. It's like it a got, sad, kind of sad. You it was super awkward. And just for the next couple days, I had to shower in the dark. I couldn't charge my phone overnight because I had no electricity. Yeah. Okay. We're going to need that fuse box because like, I think everything's We're off. Gonna We're going to figure it out. We're going to need to find that fuse and turn that shit back on because I'm taking another bath tonight. Yeah, normally our tea times are 9, 10 a.m. Today it was 3.30 p.m. and everyone sort of decided to do it differently. We didn't know what to do with ourselves. I mean, yeah, we woke up, we watched the British Open, which was great, but if, and even if you watch the British Open till noon, you still got three and a half hours till you tee off. So it was like, we were doing multiple range sessions, and then you get to a point where you're just over-prepared. How you hitting them? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, I'm sore. Yeah. You're saying my body's like, I can't believe we're doing this again. Right, and tomorrow. Yeah. I will say, 3.30, it's very peaceful really? when you have the whole day. The big key is to not use the driver. We figured that out yesterday. I'm going to use the driver as little as possible, potentially zero times today, and just hit that hybrid so I can stay in play. Because when I'm in play, I'm in holes, and I'm actually in the match. And when I'm not, we're just wandering around in the wilderness, and that's no way to play. So I'd say the number one key today is to keep it on the map. Let's go pot. Mindset. Let's go pot. Yeah. Mindset. Tension. Release it. Remember we can do it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so Forest Dunes is traditional Parkland style. Uh, you go out in through the trees. You don't see one hole from the next uh, until you pop out an eight and then you go into a dunes area. So uh, very much a modern golf course. Phenomenal. I don't know that they know what they have coming yet, to be honest with you. But greens are pure. Conditions are great. There's definitely opportunity for low scores, but if they get wayward off the tee, they're in trouble on the front nine. The loop is more of a Heathland style. So you really, as a, as a resort guest, you have to make the adjustment. It will not play the same. The ground does not play the same. The turf conditions are different. It's like you're playing in two different continents. Just a totally different playing experience. And one, one of our guests one time uh, jokingly re referred to a, our parking lot as the Atlantic Ocean because all you need to do is is cross that parking lot and you're in another different world. Because it literally feels like you're going from uh, across the pond, across the Atlantic Ocean, and now you're back playing. Not a typical course by any means, but like just like a almost like you know a plush 
kind of attackable golf course that just plays totally different. You're just pulling every putt. Frankie, you're pulling your putts? Yeah. Like, all week? <laughs> These are just pulls, that's what I'm talking about. These are just pulls. These are dead pulls. What do you got there on the phone? It's a slow-mo video of your putting stroke, so. Low, the PGA Pro there, um, gave me a putting lesson, which I'm now using. I've now played since then, since this video's come out, and I've used that putting stroke that I learned on the putting green where it was like, come comfortably inside, almost like you're trying to hook the putt. Like your putting stroke, you like go here and then this way. Mm -hmm. So just feel like all day, okay. you're taking it out that That's way. That's my shot. And then just come straight there. Because to my brain, my eyes, what I thought was straight was actually out to end massively, and I was slicing putts. That's supposed to feel right? Yeah, yeah that's good. Ooh. You see how you came out that way, though? Yeah. Yeah. That's good? N no, you, you want to come, like, if I kept this, this yeah, if I kept this here, like, on the inside of this, so go ahead and turn up to that again. Yeah. Like, I feel like you can't go out. See how did, you hit that? Yeah, I did, yeah. That's insane. So what feels uncomfortable to me, which is inside to pushing out, is actually, if you look at it on a video, is actually straight. And that's hard to like conceptualize in your brain and like understand. So take it inside and then just leave it out to the left. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That'll... That's better. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Okay. There you go. That's better. Lowe's an assassin on the greens. Forest Dunes is just, my favorite word to describe it, it's just magical. It's just, you're kind of tucked away in the woods and it's just the course conditions are always immaculate. The lush green grass is, it's just a golf course I'll never get sick of playing. You know, feeling very purple. Got out prints. Need a haircut bad. I need a haircut. I need a diet. I need a chiropractor. I need to win a golf match. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that done today. Okay. Hole number one on Forest Dunes is one of my favorite holes. I think it's a great starting hole. Uh, it can be intimidating just because there are waste bunkers on the right-hand side of the fairway. The flag is actually, right from the tee box, the flag is in line with hitting over these bunkers. So uh, it's favorable to, to go left side of the fairway. If you hit a decent drive, you're looking at anywhere from 140 to 100 yards in. But if you pull it left, you're gonna have a pretty healthy shot into the green. Uh, anywhere from 175 and back. So it's a pretty large green. Uh, it does slope from back to front and right to left. What do you Gentlemen, the situation today, um, myself and Lurch are both course six handicaps. We'll be getting zero. Frankie's a 10 course handicap, getting four. Trent is a 32 course handicap, getting 26. Hey, well, boy. Hey, well, 26. Always a little beat after you guys say my stuff. Uh. Oh, it's a, a little, little judgmental beat from the No, not judgmental. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. Figure yeah. out a way to beat Yeah, no, just I Just a suck. moment of silence. Just right like, before the next sentence. Can we oh, say, like, can you thing. believe we let this guy play with us? Hybrid. Have to, all day. Should be fine, right? We're hearing a lot of waste yeah. area, we are, murmurs. Gotta hit the trick price. Fine, T. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. You hit me up a little spot. I want, yeah, I want you to do well. I'm rooting for you. Trent's got a little uh, spunk in his step. Oh, oh boy. Down cinnamon. Oh, yeah. yeah that's that's fine. Fine. Money. Great shot. Really good. $1, really impressive swing there. How much would you get for that, Frankie? Probably 1000 bucks. All right. Wow, what a ball! Woo! Good one, Frank. That's a beauty, buddy. Oh, sheep. Oh. Oh. Sheep. 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 Sheep.
to that same effect on outcomes, let's just focus on one swing at a time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just see where it comes out. Yes, dude. Yes, Trent. Yes, Trent. Is that all in the green? Kicking down there. Uh, six. Six. Oh, so eight holes, he's getting two. Double pop. Jesus Christ. Next hole, double pop. Spending grenades all fucking day. Look how, look how close he came to being in that shit right there, Jake. Jake Bass, look behind you. They're going to be fucking unwrapping. Yes, sir. Either right this The right, right shot. Thanks. You got a little bit of uh, sunscreen just on like the mustache. <laughs> I appreciate that. Right. How long did you been there? Left side. I just noticed it. Uh, your left side. Yeah, there you go. Gone? Yeah. Thank you. Wish I had that hard pan and stuff today, but. What? I wish it was a little bit like harder, like Link style. I was excited to play Forest Dunes. But I also was gonna miss the loop a little bit. I, I was not ready to play just a regular soft golf course. Now go. Go. Now go. Now go. Big bounce. Awesome. All right. How are you feeling about this first putt? Um, you know, I'm gonna do the alignment move. I'm gonna try to stay consistent with my approach. Watch your speed. Dude. Give it a few holes. Get lucky and make it. Okay, okay, okay. We're rolling. We're moving. We're on our way. Get some close there, Frank. Okay. Knock it in. Whatever your thing is before you're doing, do that. Okay. Settle down now. Not the best first putt you want to see out of the boys. Not the best first putt when all we have to do is just putt better to beat these guys. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Yep, yep, yep. <gasps> Try Trent. That was so good though. Great old kid. Yeah, Frank. Good ball. Yep. Good one. I love that. Yeah. Just need it. Yeah. Just hear it. Just, you know, just gotta hear have that, that ball, ball go in that hole. Let's go. Hey, we're one, Great roll, buddy. One up on Rays. <laughs> right. oh, oh, let's keep a track on keep a track on how many holes Trent wins for them. It's one. That hybrid's gonna be a golf course killer. Courses around the world are gonna hate that hybrid. They are. Okay, if we start making putts like that now. Roll, buddy. Yeah, perfect. Just Down like that's a, that's a golf putt. Golf putt. Hole two, it's a long par four, very intimidating tee shot, tree lined both right and left side of the fairways. A lot of people like to hit three wood off this tee just because it is a tight, narrow shot off the tee. Um, but if you do hit a decent drive, you're going to want to favor the right hand side to just have a a decent look at an approach shot. Uh, there is a green side bunker to the left and also a green side bunker on the right hand side. Uh, I always like to play this hole a little bit longer just to make sure I carry both of those bunkers. If we lose this, oh yeah, it's 2 0 one Because the match before felt like that we did like it was like, you know, big. So it felt like we actually won the match. No, we actually didn't. So yeah, we had oh, had to win it. Oh, oh, that might be all right, no? Yeah, oh, mystery. oh, you're dialed. You're fine. Oh. Yeah, just whoop. Whoop, whoop. I think you just kissed the leaf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See you, boys. Oh, that attitude, low. What? Yeesh. Gotta be honest, I felt real good over that ball. And then once I made contact, I felt real bad. 
I was a little nervous about the tree. Maybe yeah. Because I played a draw. Right. So like it was just in my head. Oh then. I mean, dude, this thing was fucking wasted here. Yep. For sure. I haven't been checking for ticks. I wear pants all the time. Yeah. So. Unless it's on my phone. Here's a good one, Frank. Four. You're hitting four? Yeah, I'll make it up and down. For five. Yeah, we both need it up and down. One of us do it. Just keep your eyes open. Where's your confidence level right now? Out of 100. In here? Yeah. 23? You're not hitting me. Come on. I'm backing up. I'm backing Find up. That. I'm backing up. <laughs> Frank. Unbelievable. Wow. Great shot. Not good, Trap. Oh boy. What's going on? A shot. Good shot. Good one. Really good. Well, yeah, look who kind of knows how to play golf again. I'm also feeling like these pants are gonna rip at some point. Oh, please give me that. Like, I, there's a tightness right there that I think they're just gonna split. Got it. What a putt. Frankie Borelli, dude. Five four. Five four. It's good. I got a nice little lesson before. I think something's, something's going on. It's a couple good putts. <laughs> it was finally rolling over into the hole. Like I was doing things that you're supposed yes. to do on the putting green. What's that in for? Eight. 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 Ooh! Frankie, what it up and down, big guy. That noise I made just came, came from the depths. <laughs> it's alright. Nope. Frankie, what a roll with dude. Oh, what a save. Bunkers. Uh, Frank and I were talking. I might file like legislation against bunkers. I could get some serious traffic. And like, if I got to take it to the Supreme Court, that's just what we got to do. But if, like, I'd love to send a letter to every golf course in the world and be like, listen, I know you probably have bunkers. But have you ever thought about not having them? I had a five there. You had a five as well. Five four. Mm -hmm. Boy, is that special. Hole three is called Tabletop, and it's a par three. Uh, from the two tees, you're looking at 178, can sometimes play 200 or longer into the breeze. And there are bunkers surrounding the entire green. So depending on where the hole location is, if it's back left, uh, you're gonna be carrying the left side bunker. You do not want to be long on this hole just because it is a very tricky shot out of the bunker to get back onto the green. One down. Trent wants to write like a bill about abolishing bunkers. It's not as admirable as the other things that have been abolished, but it's something that's very important to him. No, man, don't tug it today. Don't do that shit. Let's get on the ground. Blue hut. Um... Oh, lurch. Here we go, Trent. Oh, Ben. Is that a pop, though? Over all of it. Oh. Get an eye on it. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, the last right two. Right in the middle of that stuff. Uh, all right, so we we plopped right in that sand. We fucking plopped. Somewhere. Right in the heart of it, brother. Oh, true. Look at this shot. Get some. Oh. Hey. 
What a shot. What a shot, buddy. You're just in the hole. You're just putting for a net birdie. <laughs> out of the call out. Yeah. Geez. Out of nowhere. Come on now. Come all the way down now. Nope. Big gulps, huh? Well, see you later. Go in for him. That's good, Frankie. Thanks. Killed that fucker. Good shot. Am I gonna be good here? Uh, you might put it behind the ball. So just like rotate it, you know what I mean? Instead of this side of the ball, like behind it to the hole. Oh. Yeah, just yeah, move it. This one? Yeah, just like the ball was here, so I was saying just like slide it right there. Oh, okay. that's all right? Sure. Yeah. Yep. Don't touch his ball mark over here. <laughs> Might have helped him. Behind the ball, you just set my brain yeah, that, was, was like, <laughs> that was where you stayed. It's just, but it's the same line. It's <laughs> just <back. laughs> You're going to hit it. Yeah. You're going to hit it sooner now. <laughs> So I started doing this like stand back alignment thing to get to get that figured out. And so I was standing behind the putt, uh, the putter and the ball on the line and trying to make sure that my putter was like in line with actually where I wanted to hit. Did you found something large? Yeah, big time. We're all four oh, Come on, tell me you're doing this during the round. That. That's my move now. Tell me you're doing this during the round. <laughs> I do the stand around. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it too. You said my yeah, I mean, that's way better. Way better. <sighs> Come on, oh, baby. Go in. Come on. What a freaking two putt. Let's go. Can we find something here? It's good. It's good. <sighs> what? Where's no, the I ball know, go? No, oh, I just right in front right of the mark down, towards the hole. Yeah. Bingo. Isn't that, yeah. a, isn't that just a regular marking? He, so yeah, but he put it, because he came from this angle, so he oh. put it on the left side of it. Gotcha. Yep. Really good job. Nice. Good four, T. Thanks. Great four. Attaboy, T. Let's go. Oh, I no, saved, kid. No blood. I saved, kid. Hole four is called the Lone Pine because there is a tall pine tree on the left-hand side of the fairway. Definitely favor the left side because the, the right side of the fairway is, is lined with trees. You're looking at anywhere from 150 and in for your second shot if you have a decent drive. There is a green side bunker on the right-hand side of the green. It can make this green complex a little bit more difficult, but it's a pretty large green and it's gonna be sloping from left to right. If the whole location's in the back, right side of the green, uh, you definitely do not wanna go long for this hole. I see it, and then it disappears from my eyes, but I know the like the right center of the fairway. Yeah. So then it's just a guess for me. A guess? Yes. That's just a yes. I think your mouth sucks too. <laughs> oh boy, that's an overcorrection. I told you I kind of lost it on the driver. It's just was it the full go. Yeah, I just I just lost that comfortable swing. I was stunned that number for the first time. There's trees everywhere, we haven't heard a tree yet. Nope, didn't get it. <laughs> no, as quiet as it could potentially be. Ah! Okay. <laughs> yes, Trent. Yep. First bad one in about 14 swings. Right. Bye. Take that. Yeah. I'll just drop right here. Yeah, I mean, you would want to look at it. No. Yeah, I would drop right here. No, that was gone. Yeah. I didn't look at it. No, I'm with you. Absolutely crushed. Trent was huge, man. 
Trent just stepped up in at Forest Dunes. Uh, it was more his style of golf. I could tell he had it. He had it going, man. He just his vibe was good. Good swing. It's crazy it goes from that to the drive. Love the belief that I'm in this vicinity. Okay. I heard some, some snake rumors over there. I don't love it, but I got pants on. Are they poisonous though? Wow. What Great a shot. shot. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Oh, Ben. Oh, sit there. Irons are back. Middle of the green, bro. Love that. Yeah. Love that. It just, yeah, I mean, he was, he was just right on us all day long. Is that your ball? Yeah. I hit up. Are you fucking serious? Thank you. Thank you. I don't even know. I didn't even think that was physically possible. Yeah, I had like a little window and I just hit this high fucking back. Holy shit. Frankie Borelli. What a putt. Do it. Oh. Ooh. Great putt. <laughs> Down. Could be really good. Really good. Hit it right there. Lurch, that's good. Thank you. Which brings that? Maybe here, Trent? Yeah. Yeah. Even like walking up here, dude, you can feel it just takes off a cliff. Okay. The closer it gets to the hole, the faster it's going to be, too. Great putt, dude. It's good. Good putt. Oh, Jesus, T. Jesus, T. T. Yeah. Killing me. That's the second hole that he's pushed. Third. Trent, third hole he's pushed. He pushed one. Three out of the first They lost holes. two. Trent pushed three and four. And he just made a five or six footer kind of a side the hill. He's playing great. Hole five is a par five called Mason Trail. It's my favorite hole on the golf course. You get out in the middle of the fairway and look around and you are amazed with the beauty around the hole. It's just, you, you don't feel like you are in Michigan. You don't really know where you're at. It's just kind of a really magical hole. Uh, but it's a dog leg left, long par five. Uh, you're gonna wanna favor the right side of the fairway and the green side bunker. In front of the green can be intimidating for your approach shot as the green slopes significantly back to front. Yeah, great one. Great one. Yeah, we'll drive down the path and find that. Right, Lo? We'll find it. What are we, one down? <laughs> one down. <laughs> Fucking hero up here. The hybrid assassin. Yeah. The hybrido. Death by hybrid. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Just in front of it. Good lie. Box the box. Yeah. <laughs> that guy loves box. Oh, yeah, dude, you're going to have to do This is amazing. Me. Yeah. I agree. You got to hit up. Yep. All right. So Trent, what's going on here? I'm just on the on the tee box here. Who are you on the tee box with? These nice ladies. Oh, all right. Yeah, dude. Just punch it right back in the fairway. I think it's a wedge. 
My man, good five. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A little, put a little fade on that thing too. <laughs> so yeah, back of the feet. What's the number? 312 home. 312? Yeah. Gotta withstand the two storm. So I'm only getting four today, or was I getting five? Four. For now. Good. We're good. Good shot, Frankie. Great oh, shot. Yeah, man. Move left on that green. Oh, yeah. Great shot. Great. What a shot, man. Yeah, no, I felt like I was hitting it well that day. Just like hitting good shots. But it was just like in every hole. Stay, wow. stay, stay. No! Oh, my God. Oh, that was a... I thought it was going in the bunker. Me too, yeah, that freaked me out. <laughs> it did. That's why I screamed so bad. <laughs> he screamed at the top of his lung. No! Hit it. Six is a par four. The name of this hole is Gamble. It's a split fairway. A lot of players will try to carry the bunker. Uh, you're going to need to carry the bunker at least 200 yards. Strategically place another bunker on the right hand side if you do miss the fairway right. Green is surrounded by bunkers. The green is going to be sloping from right to left. Large green, if you go long, it's not a problem. Oh. Do you hit and I can still see the green there. Yeah, it's not the best angle. The only thing you have to worry about, Frankie, is the tree. Right, right if you take it all the way out there, yeah. what's the angle? Is that what he just asked you? Yeah, so you can take it up left and you have an angle. You don't have the best angle for the pin, you just have to avoid the uh, oak tree. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're good. Money, dude. You're good. Great golf shot. Yeah, good shot, Frankie. Beauty. Perfect. I mean, I'm going right towards that drone. Things, things taunting you right there. <laughs> Hope I don't hit a screen. <laughs> oh, be short. Be so short. I got none of that. It's short. It's short. Yeah, Great fair ball. Line. Fairway and right. Played really well, and a lot of that was a commitment to the hybrid. Being in holes. Oh, oh my god. What is that fucking crime? You know, if you want to try to hit I don't know how you feel about like punching something low. Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah, I can try that. Oh! Down, 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 down. Down, down, down. 
On. Ah, I gotta be better than that. You have so much room in the front. I could have just laid it up right there and I fucking hit it 105 instead of 95. As if I can make that difference, so. Get out. Make half the distance? Yeah, I like that. Just dynamite, my man. Wow. Good. Yeah. Just yeah. dynamite, dude. Would have played it out a little more. Good roll. Good four. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna fucking make mine. Look at this touch. That is just going in the hole. Look at this touch. Oh. Hang on. That's good. What's that home for? Uh, six five. Six, six five. five. All right, Frank. I'm gonna take a nice roll with this. You're in for four. Hit the ball. We're all the three. Thank Woo. you. Wow. Thank you. Let's go. Hole seven, par five is called go post. It's a dog leg left. Definitely favor the right-hand side of the fairway, although there is a tree that sometimes blocks your way uh, off the tee. It can be a very demanding tee shot. Dog leg left, and it, the green is surrounded by bunkers, both on the right-hand side and left side of the green, and it does slope from back to front. If I, if I pull driver at that course for the first few holes, I don't contribute, I don't shoot very well, I'm frustrated. But with the hybrid, I just bunt it out there. Oh. <laughs> 190 yards. I've been hitting my irons really well. My putting's coming around, my short game's coming around. Good one. Yeah, drift, drift, drift. Uh, Frank, are you feeling good about that thing? No. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You're out there. Might hit a tree or something, but you're out there. Didn't hear, anything. Didn't hear a thing. Did you hear anything? Ooh, what the hell? Taking the goods. <laughs> Great shot. Yee. Good one. Great shot. Oh yeah, back out. All right, all right. Watch out for a snake uh, in that hat when you get back. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be good a good video if there's a snake in my hat and I put it on my head. Ooh. Oh, oh boy. Right. You almost that came out hot. Yeah, you almost broke your wrists and your ankles, but you're out, baby. Oh simmer down, cinnamon. No, but that's gonna be fun. Work out. Oh. Oh, work out. You're fine. Love that. Right on. Oh, yeah. Yeet. Thank you. Where did that even go? Left trees. Oh, right Fine. here. Fine. Straight down. Right? By the little tree by the car path. Yep. You got a number? Yeah, 96. Right, like in here. Oh, am I in here? Okay. Yeah, you came hard left, dude, and the tree stopped you. Yeah. Yep. 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 Kick right. yep. Don't go in that bunker. Fuck. Go in the fucking bunker. Oh, you suck. Oh, the hands. Oh, the hand. Run out. Yeah. Good shot. Wow. Yeah. Great shot, Lurch. Oh, shot, Ben. No way he makes that play. That's so bad. Come on now. 
Yeah. A shot, Frank. What? We gotta make some putts. I don't know what it's doing. Okay. <laughs> that last putt kind of got you, huh? It just kind of got you thinking. Big time. Yeah. Dude, like the last 10 feet of mine went that way, actually. So I think it has to go that way. It just doesn't feel like it over the putt. Oh, yeah. I mean, it looks like a left to right. Right. Yeah. But, like, it literally went that way. Lurches coming up went that way. I watched it. So, like, it has to go that way, but I just don't believe it. Yeah, I mean, reality looking at it doesn't feel that way, but. I'm gonna play it pretty straight. Out. Okay, yeah. All right. Trying to freeze the pitcher here, pace the play. On the seventh hole, had another opportunity to get up one, had a three footer for birdie, four footer for birdie. What a putt, Trey. That's for seven? Seven, five. Okay. That's for four, Lark? Yeah. Didn't even sniff the hole, pushed it hard right. Yeah, and then I, that was just like, and then I got, I was pissed for the eighth hole. It's Fuck not motivation me. for that, it's just a lesson learned. Ah, I can't putt, dude. Just can't get the ball in the hole. Okay. All square, all square. I'm gonna get on top here. Hole eight is a par four called Forest Edge. It's definitely my my second favorite hole besides five on the front nine. It's a beautiful hole. You can overlook the clubhouse and 18 fairway and 18 green. Uh, you can pretty much see all of property once you get to the middle of the fairway. Uh, it is a dog leg right with a bunker placed on the right hand side of the fairway. Definitely gonna wanna favor the left hand side. And the green is surrounded by bunkers. Short will definitely not hurt you, long will. And the green does slope from back to front and right to left. Did you see it down though? Yeah, it kicked, it kicked right. It should just be the just rough. past the, the fairway, yeah. Okay. Good swing. And at Forest Dunes, uh, he just he just had it. He was carrying us. Um, I was sloppy. He was not, and he was the anchor man in our match at Forest Dunes. Mm. Bounce. Darn. I don't know if you're in. All right, Frank. You just gotta suit your eye. in those bushes. Oh, I know. Let's go take a look. We'll find it. I know. <laughs> Low. <laughs> Comment of the day. We'll find it. I was like, this thing's going to be a perfect draw. Mm -hmm. Right down the line. Mm -hmm. As long as hard as I could. Uh, yeah. oh. Heard something rattle. Rattler. Boy, when I saw a kick left, I thought it was just going to be the money. I thought it almost made its way out here. Same. Frankie, I would say you can drop on that corner over okay. there. Might be a little dicey, but yeah. I think that's fair. That's gonna be fine though. No. Okay. I think it got through. I got through. Really nice. Good. Really good. Chill out. Yup, 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 yup. Chill out, T. He's getting two. He's getting two. Well, zero. Two shots, Trey. Right. You get two shots here. Do I really? Yeah, bro. Really nice. All right, hitting swinging three. Yeah. Swinging four. Coming at you guys. Yep. Eighth hole, I was in a bunker. T Daddy had two pops on that one. That one actually, he was on like the front of the green. So I was like, all right, I got to take this water on on the right hand side and didn't go well. No! Fly! Fly! Good hole, Tig. Why didn't I take a hybrid? We both should have. It's the shortest hole. 
It actually plays shorter because of the turn. You put it? I'm gonna put it. I love that. Yeah, I'm gonna put that. I love that a lot. Okay. Sounds so good. A little left of it. Little left of it. All right. Short. Not gonna be it. No. Should have hit my drive to here and be fucking living. Oh, that's gotta go. It's brutal. I mean, when any team ham and eggs well, you know, it's just brutal. Got a good line? Knock it in. Not much here, eh? Gotta be aggressive. Oh, sick girl. <laughs> I tried to be so aggressive. See, you're good if you want it. Knock it in, Trent. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. Great five. Good five, dude. Thanks. Great five. Good five, Trent. Here you go, Kip. Is that five for three? Five what for three a five. five. Let's go, Trent. Five for three, baby. Woo! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Make down something up one. here. Down one. Feels good. Look at this fuck. This is cool. We're going that way. Yeah. Okay. Watch it, baby. Hole nine is called the point. It's a par three. It's a beautiful hole, carrying water the entire way until you reach the greenside bunker. Uh, clubhouse is behind the hole. We always tell our guests, look at the American flag to the left of the clubhouse to see which way the wind is blowing. I find more often times than not, the wind is into your face on this tee shot. Uh, definitely do not want to be long, and I would favor the left side of the green. So. Trent showed everyone how to do it. Players play, winners win. Yep, winners win. Sucks to suck. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Good one. Is that green? Giant thing of water. Yeah, which was my main concern. <laughs> That's a believe it or not, shot, dude. That was a great swing. He had a really good tee shot, but he hit it right where his aim it came up like a yard short and rolled in the middle Fly. of the bunker. Fly. And he's getting a stroke there. <laughs> Thin to win. Fat self hasn't oh, gone down to the ball all day. God, I'm fat. On the other day, it's a good shot. Yeah, yeah, on a different day. Trent! Go in the hole. Go in the hole. And then Trent, Trent hits right. a yeah. bunker shot <laughs> to three or four feet. I was afraid I was going to blade it into the clubhouse. I could absolutely do that. All right, we're good. Not come this way at all, huh? I think I just pushed it away too much. Okay. Not bad at all. Keep going. Keep going. Go in. Oh. Oh. Great putt, dude. Great, great. Good. Up and down. Trent, that's a 50 of it. Let's go, yeah. And makes it for a par net birdie. I mean, that's just a dagger. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, Great Frankie. Two Great what two a putt, three. Great up and down. Dude. Trent, Brian, what a down Sandy. Two. When I don't play well, it doesn't totally matter because Riggs plays so well almost all the time. But then when I play well and he plays okay, we dominate because I have strokes. And that's just hard to recover from for the other guys. Oh, that's a six inch shot. Yeah, What'd that was really good. There? Did you like, think about anything? Nope. <laughs> that's the problem. All right, we gotta find a way. Gotta find a way. Oh no. Thought we could just get through here. I was wrong.
We made it. Thanks, Trent. Yep. Figured getting my fat ass out of there would help. Uh, on to the back nine of Forest News. Chad Mavius will show you your way. So after a few drinks, maybe a hot dog, something at the turn, you come to number 10, and hole number 10, as all holes at Forest Dunes, is named Decision. It is a split fairway. You have the option to go right or left. There is a monstrous waste bunker in the middle of the fairway. The right side is definitely worth the risk in playing the hole, but it's much more narrow. It's well bunkered. There's a uh, kind of a pot bunker in the middle of the green complex. Front left will run back to your feet. If you go over the green, you know, good luck. You cannot go long in this hole. There's native areas, there's a bunker in the back left, and you're gonna have a downhill chip to the green that runs away. So if you're gonna air anywhere on right. 10, air short. I zoom in it? Did it clear it? I just don't know, man. Yes, Trent. No, you're gonna be short out of it. Perfect. Fine. No. I don't know. Close. Oh. Frank. Bad bounce. Uh. Right, let's go see. Oh, I tried to kill it. We're uh, bunker boys. That was really stupid. <laughs> Stupidest thing I've done today by far. <laughs> oh, we're bunker boys. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, I think Lurch actually played pretty well. I just, I, I really fucked us. I didn't even come close. Oh, that's all ball. I mean, that's all sand. The opposite of all ball. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. You like three there? Four. Four to two? My fuck. Oh my god. Put a bow on me. Oh, you're in the fairway. You're through. I can't even begin to understand how frustrating that must be for them because my handicap is what it is, but then there are times when I play really well and it just almost becomes unfair. Let's see something here. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little magic or break Trent's leg. Good effort. Yep. Three down. Yes, sir. There's a hole that I have a stroke on. Yeah. Yeah, I have to be good for you. You just stay in it. You just gotta stay. Yeah. Being aggressive with the wedges makes a huge difference. Like from here, when you're like 70 out, and like you don't, you actually get a good shot as opposed to either fumble fucking it into that bunker or blading it into the back of that other bunker. Number 11 is about 190-ish par three. Again, you're hitting over native areas, so you don't want to be short. You're going to be in native sand or native grasses. Again, another well-bunkered hole by Weiskopf. And another, another theme to the back nine of Forest Dunes on almost all of the greens, long is not your friend. If you go long or left on 11, this par three becomes a par four. There's just, you're going to have difficulty getting up and down. Uh, so again, hit the green, two putt, move on. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, you suck. Yeah. Oh, boy. Good luck. Down a little. Spin. Down. Just spin. Yeah, on, yeah. Shot. Do something nasty to this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Oh my god, cold shit. And that leaves something to be desired. Trent is just a savior with his strokes and like his like way he's playing. I just cold. Now I'm just like we're also tight now because like. I hear some very good uh, sound for us. Yeah. Every time you hear that little muttering murmur, don't give him any room to breathe. Yep. Good luck, Trent. Just like the name implies, it's two distinct nines. The front nine is going to be uh, take take you through the forest, uh, tree line fairways, typical northern Michigan golf. Uh, when you make the turn and, and get to the back, is when it starts to open up some uh, rugged native wasteland areas, a um, lot of sand dunes, it's from the glacial deposit, sand deposits. Good one. Thank you. Down four. Yep. Great. Oh, boy. More hours low over there right now. We're just getting killed. We're getting killed. Take off the hat. Four down through 12. <laughs> oh, 11. man. We're down through 11. Yeah, you're here now. I'm, ah. I'm starting to run a six as you're just like, I'm here now. Ah. I'm here. <laughs> and now we're four up. Number 12 is named Whitetail. Number 12 reminds me actually the green setting of number 12 at Augusta. Obviously different grasses, uh, different designers, but um, you have a narrow tee shot to pick from. You have bunkers on the left side. Anyone can play from a, a two iron all the way up to driver. There's an oak tree on the right side about 100 yards out that will guard the green. There is a hidden bunker in the back. There is bunkering all to the left, as well as a pond that creeps in. And one, one of the hidden gems at Forest Dunes, I think people talk about a lot of the different holes, but 12 is just a great golf hole. Could be an early night. Yeah. It could be a really early night. Time to make a move. Ooh, hats off, too. The huh? hats off, hats hair off. off. Shirts off, can we take shirts off here? It's just right side of the fairway. Good one. Can't have Riggs be a person now. Oh. We were saying to the car, all of a sudden they looked, they thought Trent was going to pop up. Ah! I just came out of nowhere. That's like when A Rod would hit a home run in like the eighth inning up 12 0. Right. You know, let's enjoy ourselves and see what comes with it. Perfect. How much better is that? So much better. Can we make a driver that's like this? <laughs> is that three with I think that's it. Dude, we're down bad, dude. We're down real bad. Down we bad. can't win a hole. We're gonna win five of them? <laughs> Playing with fucking Bryson and Tiger. Come on, dude. This is bad. Those guys, when they're, when they're high, they're high. But it goes the other way, too. When they're low, they're trying to bury into the ground. Uh, and then they, I mean, they kind of just turned the dagger on themselves, I would say, on the back nine and just kept stabbing themselves in the throat. Stop them while they're down. Done. It was perfect. I mean, was that not like it was drawn towards the pen? God, I was like, just show me in the hole. <laughs> Good strike, brother. Yep. I'd rather not be here right now. Your money. Like this shot. Come on. Go. And not one of those practice swings did I even come close to swinging. Did you help me that on I don't feel a fuck. 
Trying to get two here or one? Just catch this one if it's going on the water. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Hold on, that thing's in mind while he's out of all. Butter knives. Ridiculous. That's got to go just a hundred miles. You still got that for five for four? Go in. Oh. Yeah. Just. That's good. Nightmare. <laughs> go in. Go in. Try. Hey. I think we were five up through like. 12 or something and then yeah there were whispers in the cart of like well, if we win six and five is this awkward like can we can we talk to each other if we win six and five are we still friends so what are we doing no we are we are with all the things i think it's nice it's like some miles a gallon on this hog yeah trade some kid in town for the van for it. straight up <laughs> number 13 is called twins it has trees that that kind of line the fairway. So there are twin pine trees. It is a drivable par four. Uh, most people will hit driver and not think about it. Uh, absolute mistake. It is the most difficult green on the golf course. Perfect strategy is to lay back to have whatever your comfortable yardage is, whether it's 100 yards, 125 yards. So there's a false front to this green. The pin's up front and you go into attack mode. It's gonna end up at the bottom and you're gonna struggle to make par. I'm not being held hostage right now. But buy my own golf game. Like, this is not me. Like, someone has taken over my body. I'm being this helped. isn't you. No. No, it's not. I mean, that was probably me. Perfect. Yeah. Frank. That's the step up in that. Paul Trent. Yeah, dig. Yes. It just felt like, at one point, we just had to show up to the tee box and we were going to win the hole. <laughs> I don't know, my swing just sometimes gets away from me to the point where I just can't find it at the tee and then when you do it at a place like Forest Dunes, you're in trouble because you're never just in the hole, you're constantly in fescue. We were looking for my ball, it felt like every single hole and, oh, dude, come on. Bro! We're out on We're this. We're good, bro. No thanks. Just drop one with me, dude. What a hero, bro. He's just in there with, the, with nature. I tried to kill it. Just run. Just run a little. I tried to kill it. Bloody oh, dude, I left my 60 at the last hole. <laughs> I did it again. Hey, stay with me, T. Damn, dude. What the fuck? I'm fucking fine. You got like 60 yards in. <laughs> Damn it, I really need that 60 right now. That's my club for the shot. Yeah, I'd, I'd wait. Wait? I love it. Sit! Yep, Just sit, not right left out. or right. What a guy. Go Look right at out. that hog, too. Big thank you. You're very welcome. Big thank you. Very All right, welcome. now we got to make some magic happen. Shot. Yeah, great great job, Butler. A lot of pressure on that one. Okay. All right, yeah, Frank. Yeah, no, you can do these. <laughs> no problem. Nothing to it. No. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yucko. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> what a putt. <laughs> that was all right. 
I mean, ugh. I know what that's like, dude. Yeah. I mean, I just hit a chip two inches. So. Can we make something happen here, Lurk? Yeah, we're gonna have to do something like that. Total collapse by me. Last two holes. Last three holes, really. Wow, oh, what a birdie. My God. My guys have kept, kept Frankie and I alive. You know Assist. Assist. Let's go. I don't know. I mean, that's a glimpse. It's a yeah. glimpse of hope. Again, you door me? What, what you're showing up to a war, a legit war with a two by four and a nail. <laughs> I'm saying, <laughs> what do you got? Number 14 at Forest Dunes is called Meadow. It is the number two handicap hole, so the number one handicap hole in the back nine. It's going to play long at 465. There is a waste bunker to your right. There is a pond to your left. A good tee shot is still going to leave you with a long approach. Again, diff difficult green. It has got a spine in the middle of the green, so depending on pin position, that's going to dictate your putting ability. and. If it's front right, it's very accessible. If it's back left, it's very difficult. Bunkers behind, bunkers in front. It's a number two handicap hole for a reason. Yeah. So good luck to you. It's gotta be, yeah. Got to go a hair yeah, though. Man. Show a bounce. Yeah, that's fair, right? Yeah. Ooh. yeah. We have a look at the green or no? Yeah. Should stay short of it. Yeah, it's fine. Yes. Yeah. Good call. Thank you. Oh, geez, just, soft, right. Oh, just soft right there, a little left. Go! What's the stroke situation here? I get one, Trink gets two. I think I'm in a greenside bucket. I couldn't get it up. I couldn't get it up. So I had to kind of give you one of these fucking sidearm things like we're turning double play. No turn. Turn. Nope. Kip. 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 Go. Not fine. Really? Ah. Yeah. Take it. Fuck, we just missed this green. I thought it was plugged, but I'm not. What a shot. It's gonna hurt. It's coming right here. It's coming right here. <laughs> cool. I was trying to play that cool like it wasn't gonna hit me and then and then it got too close for me to ever do anything and it, it would have just hit me. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Where did it land? It landed right here on my shoulder. It went over my shoulder. I was like, oh, this will be cute. I'll be able to like act like I can catch it. And then like it got way away from me. And I'm like, I don't know where to go now. <laughs> Let's just make something happen. Yeah, 100% make something happen. Oh, it went fucking nowhere. I'm pathetic. There you go. The first one was too much of a glump. Yep. Look at wow. this guy. Great shot, Trent. Thank you. Unbelievable shot. Wow. Bitch. Ho, ho, ho. Wow, what a par. Woo! Wow. See, what is your four? Uh, five four. Five four, okay. Or no, probably five three. Yeah, if he gets one, he gets two. Thank you. Knock it in, Trent. Do it to him. Got it? Yep. Knock it. What a pot, Trent. Unreal sand. Is that the match? Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable sand. Good plan. Great plan, too. Good plan. Mm.
Good man. What hole is this? Good job, buddy. Yeah, You're thank you. Really good. <laughs> Seriously, going. thank you. Yeah, going. for sure. Keep it going. Yeah. Keep it going. Yeah. Frank? Sorry, bud. Yeah, I didn't help you all today. T got. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, no, Keep it going, Trent. Keep it going, Trent. Come on, kid. You're making five for threes and fucking just, uh, everything that's good. We're going to lose. Yeah, we won that on the 14th hole. That was an absolute drubbing. It was. Up and down, baby. Yeah. That's your second Sandy of the day. Yeah, it is. A fucking green side and again, I don't know what's different. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But it's working. Just go in there with the your blackout. You go yeah, in. pretty much. <laughs> yeah, waxed. waxed. Dub. That's a, up two, right? On the back two to one, and in, in, uh, yeah, total. Full rider cups, if you will. Yeah. We weren't even close. No. Number 15 is called Hideaway. Uh, 15 is Weiskopf's favorite green. It is a reachable par five, generous driving area. There's some fairway bunkers on the right that you need to avoid. If you're a long hitter, you're probably gonna have an opportunity to go for this green in two. It is a green that is hidden from you. So it is a sunken green, and there's a slight mound or ridge that you'll need to carry over. So if you're coming in on your second shot for a par five, your ball's probably going to be running. So you need to catch the slope correctly to get close. If not, it's going to run over the green. There are two bunkers on the right side that uh, guard this green. The second one is somewhat hidden from you. So I would say that, that this golf hole, it's a great reachable par five. It's not a difficult par. It's a very difficult eagle. There's a lot of subtlety to the green. Uh, there just aren't a lot of eagles made there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Catch it on the screws, big man. Did you hear that, Trent? All right. He's legitimately two over, five over. It's crazy. Six over, mm -hmm. nine over, ten over. I only lost one for two rounds. Today, I've lost two. That was my second one. I mean, it sounded great. <laughs> 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 I roasted that. Dude, it sounded yeah. so good. At 278. Wow. <laughs> it's just um, it's demoralizing playing like that and getting your ass kicked by Riggs and Trent's not the most fun thing in the world. I mean, Riggs walks around like he's a fucking tour pro when he's up five and four. It's like, it is what it is and it fucking makes you mad. But, I mean, that's the part of the competition. We enjoy that. I like losing because it makes winning feel that much better. Yeah, we haven't lost a match um, since Australia. We've... Go in. We're stateside champs. Um, the only place we haven't won was Australia, uh, which is a different planet. Um, but anytime we're on, on this side of the pond, we win. And Forest Dunes is immaculate. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wow. What a birdie, man. Thank what you. a fucking birdie. <laughs> That's probably the most outrageous birdie of my life. Did you find the ball? No. 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 I took a drop. That, that was, uh, we just roasted a three-wood. Yeah, that three was fucking up and down. <laughs> <laughs> right. He made it up and down yeah. for right. 285. Right. Number 16 is one of the best par threes on the property. It's called Hell's Acre. It's where the natural dunes come into play on the back nine. Again, if you're playing all the way back, you're gonna be in the 230 to 240 range, so you're hitting a long iron or hybrid. As I've stated earlier, long is not your friend. There are bunkers to the right that are hidden. There are bunkers to the left. Everything between you and the green is a sand dune. So you have a little bit of, little bit of luxury, a little bit of ease if you're 30 yards short. Uh, if you fat one, you're dead. So enjoy the beach and keep keep playing until you get to the green. I mean, if we can hang on to anything, it's, we can still hang on to international champs. It's been a long time since Frankie and I have felt the win. Um, for whatever reason, just cannot, cannot get it done. What are you gonna do to this thing? Oh, I'm gonna spank her. Oh. <laughs> right. Find a good side of that ball and give it a <laughs> good old fashioned spank spanking. It's been naughty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't right now. All right. 
get those jets on you. Mm. Getting all nasty. We have to turn that fuse back on. Fix that fuse. Find that fuse box. Yeah. Oh There's no. Wrong. And then I started playing like shit. Like, if I'm not involved in the match and you know uh, I'm just sort of we're out there playing, I really melted down. I really melted down. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Go in. Oh. Be nasty. What happened? Your putting. It's like your putting. I think you just did. You start thinking about it or? No doubt. Yeah, just you just got sensitive with it almost, you know. You're so free swinging earlier. Oh, is that a three? No, what a four! Wow, you're three, three putting, you're free swinging. Trent, go ahead and knock that in. Okay. Be free about it, bro. Okay. It's like you're putting into a heavy wind right now. <laughs> yeah, gale force winds right in my face. <laughs> Walking towards the. I'm a, a, I'm a weatherman. What? He was just like a dog, bro. Yes! <laughs> Do you have the Skittles kidding. on you? Sorry. You can't. Yeah, I'll get you Skittles. Not now, but oh. I'll get you some Skittles. That's a tough promise if you don't have the Skittles on you. Number 17 is called Wild Dunes. Probably my favorite golf, golf hole at Forest Dunes. It's a 300 yard par four. It's a lot of risk and reward. Again, you have natural sand dunes up the left side of the fairway, up the right side of the fairway. Uh, there's a lot of native area, well bunkered off the tee. You can definitely reach the green in two, but there's a lot of risk. I think what Weiskopf does is he makes you think your way around the golf course by picking your club selection off the tee. That's really what dictates how you're gonna play the hole. So if you decide to hit driver, uh, and take the risk, you could get penalized for it, but you could also get rewarded. Depending on pin position, the green is going to dictate your, your scoring ability, uh, but another opportunity to make birdie as you finish. Stay right there. I hit it too high. Too yeah. The signature hole is probably the 17th Tom Weiskopf's uh, trademark uh, drivable par four, high risk, high reward. Uh, a lot of sand dunes there, and um, a great set of finishing holes, actually 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, oh, oh girl, is that an ugly one? I mean, how are you even supposed to hit this golf shot? If you have any sort of buddies trip coming up and you're trying to decide which resort course am I gonna go to, there's a bunch now. They're, they've become very popular, a lot of options. Four students has to be near the top of your list. Just because it's all so centrally located, yeah, it takes a little bit to get out there, but then once you're there, you're there and you're staying on property and there's the bootlegger bar that's right next to the bootlegger short course. All the courses are right there because one of them is two courses. And then there's the dunes course, so you get a mixture of all different types of golf. It could be the number one spot in the country. Good pace, good. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Cherries. Good stuff. Cherries. All right. That's a par. No. Just an ugly six. <laughs> God, dude. I brought my head up so much on that. Ugh. Number 18 is called Eagle Chance. It's another reachable par five, only about 530 yards. You have native area to the left and to the right, but you have a very generous landing area off the tee. A uh, few fairway bunkers to the left which is gonna leave you another long iron in, or you may choose to lay up. It's a fairly narrow green, and if the pin is to the left, you're gonna to have to bring water into play. As 18 comes back around, the, the pond that encompasses eight, nine, and 18, and even our 19th hole uh, will come into play. So again, another opportunity to make birdie, maybe eagle, uh, finish your round under par on that hole and go in for a beverage. Or, if you don't play it correctly, you're going to finish over par and you're still going to go in for a beverage. Yeah. Hey. Great swing. Oh, good ball. 
Yeah. It's getting better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A little bit like Aaron held close, you know what I mean? A little we're, bit. We're right there. <laughs> as soon as the match was over, I think he started thinking about it. He's getting a little hesitant. Yeah, that up that up and down on 14 for Bogey, and I looked at the scorecard and said he needs just just keep it on the tracks, four over through the last four, and then I come back and hear that he four putted uh, 15, and it's, it's just deflating, man. You really do hate to see it. Yeah, dude. That might be too much over there. You think so? Is that too right? No. He's awesome. So Forest Dunes is just an incredible place, and I think only going to get better. Uh, but it's a place to just hang out, relax, and just enjoy golf. Thank you. Yeah. Is it on? Yeah, just on the front. I think I think really what what brings the people here is that it's pure golf. You know, we're in the middle of nowhere, essentially, as you guys have kind of realized and found out. You drive through the middle of nowhere, you drive through the gate, and it's pure golf. We've got everything we need from a golfing perspective. I think Riggs has called it a golfing oasis. And uh, it's, I think that's what really attracts people here. And the quality of golf, too, is second to none in the state as far as public golf goes. I mean, you can't get better conditioning on both golf courses than what you're getting here. Yeah. 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 Let's all knock these in, huh? Okay. No sense to be out here any longer than we have to. No. Yes, really you can. Yeah. That's a five. Good bar. Thanks. Yeah, That's yeah, how we go, yeah. bang, bang, bang. Great plan. Yeah. That's the trip. It's over. Should yeah. the 19th hole be for a whole round of golf to keep us alive? <laughs> oh, I think man. it should be for a whole round. <laughs> Aggregate score for a whole round. Whole point. Yeah, I'm not signing off on that either. I'm not signing off on that. It's only fun for you. We got our fucking dicks kicked in. <laughs> like we might as well play war at the fucking house to see who wins tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's still golf. They have a 19th hole here. Oh, I'm still gonna play. Definitely gonna play it. Bye, hole. <laughs> That's what I stand for. Oh, I really like this actually. This is awesome. This is cool. Yeah. This is cool. Number 19 is a buy hole. So we actually have 19 holes at Forest Dunes. So the buy hole can be anywhere from 85 to 115 yards, depending on the day. There is a bunker right in the middle of the green, and it's it's a hole that's meant to settle bets. Everyone can play it. I would recommend everyone does play it. It's a full regulation golf hole, covers water, usually have a sand wedge or pitching wedge in your hand. If you play around the bunker, you can, you can actually throw the ball up and use the, the slope of the bunker to spin it towards the pin. If you end up behind the bunker, it's a four. There's just no way, there's just no way to make it through. So a great uh, extra hole at just a very special golf course. So, so if anyone ever asks for the price of our green fee, you get 19 holes. Oh, you're with me. Come around. He needs it to come, come around, around, dude. Yeah. You're going to have a safe. Bucket. What am I going to do now? <laughs> and I don't got to see your angle. Can I go around that way? You can. You just got to just hug the fucking thing. You, like you might be able to oh! jump up to this. If you can get this and momentum. sling this. Oh, I got to go up here. This is, this is a place, like you said, it's a, it's a golf uh, getaway. It's golf paradise. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, you know, if we're going to do other things here uh, as we grow and as we expand, you know, are you going to build a pool, are you going to build tennis, are you going to build a lazy river, and, and it's like, no, probably not. We've got, we got golf, we got better golf, we got great golf, and we're going to have more golf. So we're all about golf here and, and fun golf. Really, really solid, good, highly ranked, beautiful golf courses, that, and we're going we're gonna to build on that. Go in. Yup. Oh! <laughs> let's go, T. Keep walking. Chet Ryan, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I'm just not going to let our team end on any shot other than that one. That's just it. It's over. Boom.